Hello my dotty family and welcome to my channel. I'm Zelda from the Fairy Realm and today I'm going to talk about your needle tips and your do-it-yourself tips if you don't have any for your paint bottles. So these are the tips that usually gets used with the advanced dot work that we do with these stones here. Now um, I do have a tutorial on how to do this as well and I will put the link up here. Generally, these ones run in different types and also with different sizes. Usually the same color is the same size across the board. Uh, the metal ones obviously have numbers on there to, to exactly tell you what gauge size they are. So um, yeah, that's why they're not color coded. But these ones, so these ones qualify as the plastic ones. These are the cones and then these are the, um, the semi-plastic so in other words, the metal ones. Oh, I see I place these ones. They're supposed to be over there. Okay. So you can get them even in a set of 10. Um, I will put the link up exactly where you can find it uh, in the description below. But um, you don't need all 10. You just need about three or four different sizes from small to large, just to give you the different size of lines you want to work with. So if you look at the lines here, you can kind of see exactly and also with the top dots and the smaller dots on top and those ones that stand up so um, for them we use the different sizes as well which they come in quite handy usually they come with a bottle and then they just fit onto the bottle tips like that very very easy to use the problem is for me usually they don't supply enough bottles and then you have to keep on pouring the paint in and pouring it out and it's just a little bit of a mess. So what I have done is my bottles are these ones here that I sell. And they work out so that the tip fits on there and it sticks. So if you have these bottles, they are going to be perfect for those tips. If you do not have tips and you have a bottle the nozzle needs to run at an angle in order to do the DIY okay you can't use a bottle like this because it just goes on straight so it's going to be quite harder to have a DIY um, cone if you have a bottle where the nozzle runs straight so do if you do find yourself a bottle just make sure that it does run at an angle like this one now let's move on to how we're going to make these so what you're going to need in order to do this is you're going to need your nozzle bottle that's angled. You're going to need some pins and needles or needles, either one of the two or both. You're going to need some sticky tape, some scissors and then some plastic. So I'm using a normal sleeve for filing. You can use some cellophane as well. It doesn't matter which type of plastic as long as it's really, really thin. Okay, so what I do is I cut this in a strip. We'll say about that side. So about an inch, I would say, in thickness. So that would be about two centimeters or so. Then I just quickly cut all the way. Then I'm going to cut this end through because I'm not going to use it and then I can actually do little double ones so I'm just going to cut it so you want to cut it in a bit of a rectangle shape so I'd say about this about you know, an inch and a half I'd say to give you these little sleeves here so I'm going to cut some more I don't need, think I'm going to need any more but let's do it anyway so as you can see, you can get quite a few out of one filing sleeve. <laughs> now, you're going to take one of your pins or needles. So as you can see, the reason why I have pins and needles is because they run in various sizes. I think these two are about the same, so that's fine. But this one is thinner because this is a beading needle. And all I did is um, I actually use them for other dotting things as well. So the side you thread the needle through is on this side. 
and then I've just used my hot glue gun to cover up the pointy end. Usually I use this one to clean up very very small pieces of my rocks as well and then this one I use for very very fine dotting dots as well but we we're going to use them for this too so here you can see that center one there the yellow one that's where I use this needle tip okay and then for a lot of the cleanups um, I don't even know if I'll be able to find one now usually I do them so here you can see I just made a little line through there and then what I did is I took the orange and I just kind of filled that in you can see that we can make a thinner hole with this one and we can make quite a thicker hole with that one. So let's start with a thick one. You're going to put that into your little bottle hole like so. Then you're going to take one of your little sleeves. Just want to pull that out. And you're going to put it so the rectangle is running this way. Okay. You're going to put it at a bit of an angle. So in other words, this top Point is going to point down and that you want to put on your bottle with your finger and then just hold it down there and from there you're going to twist all of this around okay so like that okay so now you can see that it still has quite a big hole at the top it's quite big and we want that very small so I'm going to push this up okay and as I push it up, I'm twisting it in the direction I was twisting it when I put it on so that it can tighten a little bit. Um, just carry on twisting it and pushing it so that it becomes tight. So I want it to run with the angle of the bottle. Okay, so I'm also pulling it up outward so it can run at that angle into a point. And I want that point to be quite tight with the needle in the front. Okay. All right. So that is quite tight at the top here. Okay. And you can see like so and then I'm going to use my piece of sticky tape oh, it's too big you don't need a big piece you just need a, a little piece like that and then this end that I was twisting with I'm just going to stick that down like so we can take the needle out and there we have like a small little point I want to make the other one smaller so I'm going to use the thinner one this one in here okay. and I'm going to do exactly the same thing Let's take this point that down slightly this corner here so you can see I'm holding a rectangle this way slightly down I just want it to grip like so and then I'm just going to stick that down like so Let's test them and see. So you can see, come out. So this is the thicker one, right? Ooh. Careful, just hold on to them so they don't fall out. <laughs> Here we go. And that gives a slightly thinner line like so and these tips so as you use your colors and you leave these tips on 
Sometimes the paint might even start drying a little bit. So what you can do is you can just, before you use it every time, just squeeze the paint out. Um, or after you've used it every time. Squeeze the, the residual paint out. And then you have a clear nozzle to work with when you, when you need your paint again. Because I know that we cycle through the colors usually. And that's, yeah. So this is what it looks like. So DIY, you can definitely do that. So that also means that these tips are disposable. Unfortunately, you can't wash them and reuse them, but at least you have a tip when you need one, um, when you're waiting for your other ones to arrive, or if you don't have the money to invest them into them just right now, then this is the easiest way that you can do it. Have fun with it. It is a little bit tricky, but the more you do it, the better you become at it. Uh, stay dotty, stay magical. See you next time. Bye-bye.